I'm going to start with an empty project. I've already named it Guess. It's created using the new project wizard just like in Interweb 15. Now let's build the application from scratch but using Interweb 17. The first thing we need to do is build the user interface. In Interweb 17 there are several ways to design the UI. In the future there will be a full what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG designer here. As you can see it is not ready yet. This will come in 17.1. What you see now is just a mock-up. Everything else is functional. For now, let's start with a tree tab, which is fully functional. As this is a blank page, there is not much to see yet. Let's add a control. As you can see, there are quite a few components already, and many more are coming. Currently, 17 supports a jQuery UI, full calendar, data tables, SVJS, Toast, and more. We will be adding Bootstrap to 17, which 15 already supports. We will also be adding ext.js and many others. All of these will be included in IntraWeb 17 without the need for add-ons. The Control API is open and easy to use. We will be covering this in a later session. For now, I'm going to add a jQuery accordion group. Now let's add an accordion to the group and a text to the accordion. Now that we have a few controls, let's work with them. To modify the controls, we use the object inspector. Let's set the text property of Hello World and give the accordion a title. Now let's take a look at what this will look like in the browser. We don't have a WYSIWYG designer yet, but we do not need to run the application either, simply just to look at what we're working on. Down on the bottom right of the 17 designer are preview buttons for the browsers. Let's select this first one, which is Chrome App Mode. This will launch Chrome, but instead of launching in a new tab in an existing Chrome instance, it will instead launch in an app window without the toolbars or menus. This is very useful for testing. As you can see, we have a nearly live preview. Let's add some more items and do this again. This time we're going to use a different method instead of the tree to add controls. We're going to use the Edit IWML button right here. In this view, we can edit raw IWML. As you can see, IWML is very comfortable to hand edit. Much cleaner than trying to hand edit JSON, XML, or even a DFM. Let's add another accordion and group text. We're going to do this by cutting and pasting. Let's change some of the properties. We can preview from this window as well. And now you can see our changes and the accordions are functional. As you can see, even without WYSIWYG, things are very functional. Although we edited the raw IWML, you can see the new changes are now reflected in the tree, and we can work with them now using the Object Inspector if we wish. In addition to using Preview, we can also make the app live simply by running it. we have a live application. Now we have a classic basic user interface. Let's add some more controls and some code.
IntraWeb 17 includes many layouts, which you may be familiar with from VCL forums, FMX forums, or WPF. You can also use bootstrap layouts, etc., but our layouts actually have a lot more flexibility in many cases. Now let's give our controls some names so we can reference them. Now let's take a look at the IWML. As you can see, the IWML is still very compact, very easy to read, and very easy to work with. Now that we have our UI, let's make it do something. I'm going to switch to the code view by pressing F12. And as you can see, it looks very familiar. Let's add some private fields. We will use these fields to track the user state. Now let's add a create event on the page so that we can initialize these new fields that we've made. Now let's create a click event for a button. So that you don't have to be bored watching me type, I'm going to paste the code. This is all basic Delphi code. I'm not going to go through it line by line. As you can see, it simply provides simple logic for a guess the number game. We can do all the normal debugging as in a normal application. All user interface updates are partial, or what some of you may know as AJAX. 17 never refreshes the whole page unless you force it to or change pages. Some of you who have been with IntraWeb a very long time may remember that we had this technology long before Ajax even existed, and this is an update to that using different, more modern browser techniques though. We can set breakpoints, and we should be able to run the application. You can see, now we've hit our breakpoint. Let's cheat. The magic number is 87. Now let's do something that was a lot harder in IntraWeb 15 and 14. Let's add some client-side code. To add client-side code, we simply add it in this tab. It gets way better than that, though. We aren't just adding random JavaScript. We can directly hook into events. And instead of having to manipulate the DOM directly, we work with the same classes as we do in Delphi. We can place non-event JavaScript in here, too. For now, though, we want to hook the get into the guest button click on the client side, and all we have to do is add some code. Now we've easily added some code to do client side validation. If it passes, we call call server event, which will call the server click for the button. This allows us to control if the server event is called or not, depending if we need it or not. Note how similar the code looks to Delphi code. We work with the same user interface controls, not the DOM directly. We can even use the preview to test it. Call server event will result in an error during preview as there is no application to back it up on the server, but client-side code runs fine. And if you run it in the end, and you can see, even in the preview, our client-side code is run. So we've actually technically built an application without even using Delphi code. What you've seen here is the interweb TypeScript or JavaScript version. You can do this using Visual Studio Code and we're building plugins for those as well. But we are here for Delphi, so let's take a look at some more Delphi. Controls updated in JavaScript on the client will also cause properties of the corresponding objects in the server to be updated. 17 synchronizes the controls both ways and transparently to the developer. Now let's see how we can use IntraWeb 15 and 17 together. 
you can take any existing 14 or 15 application and start adding 17 pages without breaking or needing to rewrite any of your existing application. I selected new form and this is a 15 page. For 17 pages you can see there's an extra option. I'll go back to show you. Here's if you want to add a 17 page. We need to add in the users a reference to our 17 page. And those of you familiar with Interweb 15 code will notice this looks very familiar. It's the same syntax used to move between two separate 14 or 15 pages. And let's make this the startup form. Now we have a standard 15 page and we've set it to be the startup page. We cannot have two startup pages though, so let's remove it from the 17 page. Now let's run it. This is a 15 page. This is a 17 page. This concludes the demonstration.